Welcome back to Primetime News. And again, a special welcome if you're watching on OneSpotMedia.com. Stop issuing chicken back imports permit. The recommendation by the Integrity Commission after finding the application process to be unfair, partial, and not based on merit. The findings were published in a report tabled in the lower house of parliament on Tuesday, and the government says they need more time to respond. Sasha Lee Hamilton has the details. Chicken back and chicken neck, staple poultry parts for consumption by many Jamaicans, especially those of lower socioeconomic backgrounds. These items are less costly for both consumers and importers, as there's no import duty. But the Integrity Commission found that this incentive could very well be the cause of illicit activities. In a report tabled in Parliament on Tuesday, the Director of Investigations found cases of approved importers using the same permit to illegally import chicken leg quarters labelled as chicken back, thus evading the additional customs tariffs and causing a strain on local producers. The Commission's investigation was prompted by a complaint outlining discrepancies with the chicken back and neck import process and concerns that the import cost was approximately U.S. $25 million per year. Between 2006 and 2013, permission was granted for 4,740 full containers of chicken back and neck to be imported to the island. Of the 116 permitted importers, only seven were responsible for 46% of these imports. But the granting of permits is another bone of contention. The Commission found that the import approval processes for chicken parts lack transparency, with no adequate verification of information provided by permit applicants. The report says the absence of such a mechanism affects the credibility of the award process. There is also no formal policy dictating the role of a minister in the issuance of permits. Yet, the Integrity Commission observed several instances where a minister has issued authorization for the importation of the products, potentially facilitating corruption. An unfair advantage is also given to some importers as permits have been granted based on the applicant's import history and not based on meeting the required standards. The Director of Investigation is recommending an immediate cessation in the issuance of chicken back and neck import permits, along with the establishment of a formal policy to ensure transparency and accountability in the application process. The Commission would also like to see amendments to the Animal Disease and Importation Act to outline the role of a minister in the issuance of permits for chicken products importation. It also calls for a robust verification mechanism that will assess applications for permits. Sasha Lee Hamilton, TVJ News.